I've uh, done videos, so that's nice. Um, I'm going to do, I'm working on tummy time, you might have seen on social media, so I'm going to do a little taster, and this is free for anyone to use, um, of some core focused working out the kind of thing that um, is involved in my core strengths program, which consists of four 10 minute core conditioning, intensive, but mindful and careful um, exercises that will utilize all the muscles in the core in a safe and sustainable way. And some cardio and control, so a mix of more high impact and also much more controlled, slower movements as well, which are always the ones that people go, ah, oh, they really made me sweat, the control bit. So I'm going to do a little bit of everything today, just a quick one, a few minutes, just to give you a little taster, but also you can do this anytime, it'd be great to mix and match with your other workouts as and when you feel like it. We're going to start in plank. So, take the shoulders down the back, that will start tabletop. Um, in plank you can always work from tabletop, so you can always lower the knees if you need to. But just don't get into the habit of doing this just because you can, if you can work from plank. Claw through the fingers to take the um, weight off the wrists. Come to your forearms if there's any wrist issues. Send the heels back. Okay, take a few breaths here. Notice that your head is in line with your rest of your spine, so you're not drooping the head, neck is long. Crown of the head forward, and then really tuck your tailbone down as you're squeezing your buttocks slightly as you draw your navel in. Notice how that really um, engages the pelvic floor, the lower abdominals. Keep the shoulders down the back and breathe. Breathe fully. Whew. Right, we're going to take a little bit of pelvic action here. So if you've got the knees down, do exactly the same thing. We're gently going to tuck the pelvis slightly beyond neutral, so a slight arch, and then use your pelvic floor to draw it under. So from plank, gently, gently here, climb into the fingertips as you tilt the pelvis, and then use the lower abdominals, pelvic floor to suck it in and up. Couple more. Strong movement here. Notice where you're working. Keep your shoulders over your wrists arching it very slightly, just tilting the tailbone, and then keep the contraction. Hold it here. Actively push your toes and your hands into the floor, the mat. Push it away. Hollow out the belly. Hug your lower ribs in. So really working the core. You should be really feeling this. Then take a gentle rock forwards and back. And now breathe. So we don't want any cortisol. We're not stressing out the body here. We're not stressing out the belly. Using a nice breath to keep cool and calm and then holding it here. Draw your right knee really up towards the chest. So don't think knee to nose, keep the neck long, think thigh to chest. And then from here, we're gonna squeeze it, pulse it up, thigh to chest for eight, seven, six, draw the navel in, five, hollow out the belly, round the back, four, three, two, stick with me, one, place it back, take a breath. Little rock forwards and back, same thing on the left. Draw the leg in, let's squeeze thigh to chest for eight, navel in, seven, Six, five, four, three, keep breathing, two, one. Lower the knees, sit back for a second, ease off the wrists if you need to. Should start to feel this already. Okay, from here, I'm gonna take a little side start. So let's work from tabletop, we're gonna work on our contraction. So we're gonna open one side, stretch your arm and leg out. Open, keep the navel drawn in, and from here we're gonna exhale, round through the back, squeeze everything in, hug your knee in and then extend it all out. And then exhale, back through your tabletop. On the other side, inhale, breathe as you extend that arm and leg out. Exhale, squeeze, round through the back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, take it back. And again, inhale up. For two, exhale, contract, round through the back. So you actively need to use your tummy muscles yourself. Exhale through tabletop, navel to spine, inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, back through. Work from plank if you can. Here we go. Inhale, up. Exhale, squeezing. Inhale, extending. Shoulders away from ears. Exhale, through plank. Other side. Inhale, open. Exhale, in. For two. How much can you round? Inhale, out. For two. Exhale, plank. For two. Once more each side. Inhale, up. Feel that opening, that lengthening. Exhale in. Inhale, open. Exhale, round, hollow out the belly. Use your abs, inhale, open. Exhale, can you squeeze in anymore? Inhale, extend. Exhale to plank, hold it here. Breathe, squeeze the core in. Couple more breaths. 
and lower. Good, come to your backs. So, gonna do a little crunch here. We're gonna work from a half bridge pose. So if you haven't already seen my hip flexor, tight hip flexor video on Instagram, follow Instagram, my body that's okay. It talks about how to work your abs um, and deactivating your hip flexors. But we're gonna do that now anyway, at a slight variation. So breathing in, as you exhale, relax the shoulders and face, tuck the chin slightly. Breathe in again. Exhale, tilt the pelvis, lift the hips just off the floor. Buttocks and hips are off. Right, now squeeze gently with your glutes and your hamstrings. That will deactivate your hip flexors. Just a gentle squeeze. Be really careful in this position because it can put tension on the neck, so be really mindful. We're gonna place our palms on the floor, gently push down, and I want you to really lift your pelvic floor. So although the backs of the legs are working in the buttocks, really lift the pelvic floor, keep the neck long. So this chin is tucked, breathe. Good. From here, without moving the pelvis, keeping that pelvic floor lifted, keeping the hamstrings and glutes working slightly, extend your left leg up towards the ceiling, heel in line with hip. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Keep your lower back long, so you're tucking your tailbone towards the back of the right knee. Hold it here. And then pulse for eight, seven, six, five, squeeze the pelvic floor for four, three, two, one, slowly lower down, extend the other leg up nice and high, keeping the back, lower back nice and long, tailbone to back of the knee, lift the pelvic floor, tummy is in, navel is in, shoulders relaxed for eight, pulse it up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower the right leg. Stay in this position, keep that le back long, so we don't want this to happen. We're using the backs of the legs and the glutes to hold this stability, this, sorry, this stable position, pelvic floor lifted. And now we're gonna reach the fingers towards the heel, lifting the upper body off the floor. So we've literally just got one strip of body on the floor here. Keep the navel in, hip flexors are soft in this position, and we're gonna pulse, fingertips to heels for 60. 50. It's a small movement. You're just moving. You'll feel your lower ribs drawing towards your navel and your pelvic floor should be lifting towards the navel. For eight, seven, six, ten toes on the floor, five, don't let the knees splay out. For four, three, two, one. Now we're going to go one heel to the other, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. Keep chin to chest, neck is long. If anyone's suffering a neck tension, you can put a little bit of support here by putting the fingers behind the head. Really draw the navel in. For 60, 15, 14, 13. Keep the knees quite close. 11, 10, 9. Relax the jaw. 8, 7. We're almost done for 6, 5. Squeeze the pelvic floor for 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly roll it down. Take a breath. Good. We're going for a straight crunch here. Hands behind the head. Elbows are open. Tuck the tailbone slightly so your back is flush with the mat. Lift your pelvic floor before we start. Keep the elbows open. Take a breath in. As you exhale, think chin to ceiling. Chin and chest to ceiling. Hold your abs down. If they're bulging out, you're going too far. Exhale up, inhale down. Now, as you come down, it's not an inhale, relax. It's slow, it's controlled, it's mindful. We're holding our tummy muscles in the whole time. Exhale up. Inhale, release. Just doing a few of these. A few good, mindful, good form uh, crunches is all more than enough you need to do each day. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep the elbows open. Exhale up, inhale down. Are you drawing your navel down as much as you can? Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Soften through the face for four. Drawing in as you lower for three. And down. Keep pressing into the whole of the back for two. And lower. This time up and hold. Stay here. If you can, reach the fingers forward. Shoulders drawing away from ears. Neck is long. Holding. Squeezing as high as you can for four. Three. Two. One. Lower down. Good. Rocking back over to plank for a moment. Only here. Not going to be here for long. Again, claw through the fingers. Remember, you can lower the knees if you need to. Shoulders down the back. Keep as long as you can. We're going to dip our hips. You can do this on the, with your knees down as well if you want to. What I want you to do is slowly dip your hips one way, keeping the shoulders square, and then use your obliques, so your core muscles, not your hips, your core muscles to draw you back to centre, and then you drop them to the other side. Exhale down. <sighs> Inhale up. Same thing from plank, if you can. Over. 
using your oblique. So be really mindful, you can close your eyes if you need to. Notice what muscles are drawing you back up through centre. So if you've got your knees down, keep the knees together. If you're in plank, you might want to bring the feet together, a bit easier to tilt. Just a few of these, hollowing out through the belly. Notice where you're working. Lift through the lower abdominals, embrace the tremble. Keep breathing. One more to each side. And over. Back to plank for one breath. Good work. And up we come. Really nice. Okay, from here, we are going into... Oh, yes, good. It's open. This one's one of those exercises that looks nice and simple. And it is relatively, but you need to put in the work yourself. So stretch your right leg forwards or a leg forwards. Get it really stretched. Supporting leg is stretching. You're going to push into the ball of your supporting leg. Get length through your spine. Draw your shoulders down, but reach the fingers up. Now draw your navel in as much as you can. Lift the pelvic floor. So this is pulling in and up. And even though your arms are up, I want you to hug your lower ribs down. And we're gently keeping as much length through both sides of the body. So think about your right side here as you lean towards the right. Keep it as long as you can. Use your core muscles to hold length. Back up through centre. Inhale, lengthen to the left. Exhale, back to centre. Pushing into the ball of your supporting foot. Keep it going. Over. Keep that stretch leg really extended. If you can do it with it just off the floor, even better. Draw the navel in as you come back through centre. Notice where you're working. Keep the shoulders down. So this is really good training uh, for your mind and body. Um, so training movement and control in a way that your core is doing all the work, which is exactly what we want. Shoulders are down. Breathing, relax the face. One more each side, over. And lift. Keep long in your supporting leg, over. And lift, and then switch sides. Stretch the other leg out. Really stretch it out. Push into the ball of your supporting leg as you lift up, shoulders down, take a breath in. Lift the navel, hug the lower ribs down, stretch over to the left. Inhale up, exhale over. Maybe taking that left foot just off the floor if you can. Exhale over. One more little exercise after this, which is just a taster today, although you should feel this. Over, keep length. So I want you to focus when we do these, whenever you do a side bend, actually focus on the side of the body that you're leaning towards, because we tend to collapse. So I want you to think about lengthening the side towards you, whichever side you're leaning towards, lengthen it. It's gonna really help strengthen the side body which is often forgotten, over, draw the navel in, lift up, and over, and up, keep the shoulders down, neck is long, last one to each side, take it over on an exhale, inhale up, exhale over, inhale up, release, nice, last exercise, if you've done yoga, this is like a warrior three contraction, so extend one leg to the back, reach the arms forwards, keep parallel, so don't let this hip come up, keep the extended leg hip down, square, stretch the toes at the back, lifting from the inside of the heel and inside thigh, hold your core, so you want to be in one straight line, take a breath in, as you exhale, soften your supporting knee, round through the back, just as we did on the floor in plank, hug that in, contract, empty of air, inhale, push into the ball of your supporting leg as you reach out, shoulders down the back, exhale, rounding in, Inhale out. Now move from your centre. This is all about the core, so be mindful. Think about where you're working. Round. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Soften and round. Both legs straighten together here as we inhale. Everything straightens but doesn't lock. Exhale in. Contracting as much as you can. Last one. Stretch it out. Neck is long. Exhale, round. And switch sides. Perfect. And this should feel quite nice if you're using your breath as well. Shoulders down. Extend one leg, other leg to the back. Keep that hip down as you lift the leg up. Reach the fingers forwards. Remember, hip down and turn it in slightly. So lifting from the inside. Draw the navel in. Supporting leg is straight but not locked. Take a breath in. Lengthen, lengthen, exhale. Soften your supporting leg as you squeeze thigh to chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, empty of air. So even as we lengthen here, we're still keeping the tummy muscles drawing in. Lengthen. Exhale, float it in. Rounding, rounding, rounding. Find a big breath, expand, lengthen. 
exhale. And again, a couple more. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, squeeze. If anyone's getting any back trouble doing this, just work with the leg lower or even on the floor. Inhale here, exhale round. Wherever you are at, make it your last one. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, contract. Back to standing. Ah, oh, hands on the belly. Take a big, thankful breath in. And release. Good. If you like this, get in contact. Follow me on Instagram. The um, core strengthening program will be out at the end of the month. And I think it's great.